Libra, you got to get back to you. <sighs> there is definitely something coming in for you. And I think it's something that you've had trouble manifesting. And ultimately, <sighs> something that you have had a really hard time understanding. How, how do I do this? How do I, how do I get it done? How do I get what I want? Right? Because nothing that I seem to try works. And what might work, I don't want to try. And it's not because you don't want to try it, you're lazy. It's because you don't want to, if you try that way, you're not going to be you. And you're starting to feel guilty and talk down to yourself in your head like, well, I guess you don't want it that badly because you're not willing to commit to, commit to what? Commit to not being yourself? Commit to not being who you are? You know, I, I said this to Scorpio in, in their video. If you make it to the finish line, you got to make it a whole person. You can't make it as somebody else or wearing somebody else's clothes. You know, I know that when I arrive somewhere, I want to be seen as me. I don't want to blend in. Right? And how do I hold on to me and get what I want? It's hard. And you've been like living in this conundrum for a while. Like, how do I do this? But without doing that, which I don't want to do, which I see could get me somewhere, maybe, but will I like myself if I get there? All you have to do is let go. That's it. That's it. All you have to do is let go and let God. And I think what you're missing is your faith. Because you're so busy thinking of, oh, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this because I don't feel comfortable and that's fine. But you're so busy thinking like, I'm not doing this. So that's why I'm not getting it. And even if I'm doing these things to manifest it, they're not going to work. You've already decided they're not going to work. You've already decided to put your faith in what you decided to not do. And so you basically already decided that you don't deserve it. Why isn't praying enough? Why isn't sending out letters enough? Why isn't what you feel comfortable doing enough? Why aren't you enough? You shouldn't have to be anybody but you to make your dreams come true. And I would argue that there's no way that you make your dreams come true if you've made them come true trying to be something other than you. You have to get back to your nature, which is love, which is togetherness, which is partnership. There has been something that has been so against your nature lately. <laughs> and it's drawing you further and further away from yourself. You are something different and you are something special. This grand conjunction, I believe, happens to you. Uh, grand conjunction on the 21st, the Christmas star, right? The grand conjunction of Saturn and Jupiter. Um, they are now both in Aquarius and they are going to be so close in the night sky on the 21st that we'll see, see, it'll seem like one big superstar. And this hasn't been seen for 800 years. Yes, there's always an extended, just an FYI. That video link is down below, but this, vi this, this message hasn't even gotten halfway through yet. That one is much more personalized, actually, and it includes a full romance-specific reading. So, But you are different. You are not the same. But what you have to start doing is, my way is good. My way is right. My way is just fine. I have to just keep doing what I'm doing. I have to just keep having faith. If every single night you light a candle, you got to have faith in lighting that candle. You can't be lighting that candle because somewhere you read or some video on YouTube you watched and it said, I'm light, light a candle, do this to the candle, put this oil on the wick, say these words. If you have no faith, 
that all of those things will do something, will move something, will change something, will con bring something in, then it, it, it is a waste of your time. And the lack of faith is demonstrated in how much you beat yourself up for not doing the other thing that you see getting other people places. But I don't feel comfortable with that. And so that's the only way to get there, right? So why even bother light your candle? These are all metaphors, by the way, or just uh, examples. Why even bother lighting your candle if you don't believe it's going to work? And if you do believe it's going to work, why question any other way? This is you getting back to who you are and what you feel is real. Getting back to your true nature. And sometimes this card comes up when getting back to actual nature, as earthy crunchy as it sounds, I don't care. Getting back to actual nature is going to help you get closer to your nature. Because a lot of times it is like messed up energy in our bodies and earth acts as like a neutralizing force for that energy. So allow the earth to just like ground you. That's what grounding is. It's like ground, like literal grounding, like grounding a live wire so it doesn't go all over the place and kill somebody. It's literally the earth takes your energy and grounds it like plastic or rubber wrapped around a live wire. That's what the earth does. So get back to it. In fact, if you've been feeling a little too punchy and, uh, you know, it's because you've been walking around in, in your, um, in your rubber soled shoes. And you have not been allowing your feet to be on the earth. Go to the beach, go out to your backyard, go to the garden, go to the woods, but definitely touch earth. You will get back to yourself. You'll at the very first, first, least I was saying, you'll get back to your breath. You need to get back to your breath to remember that faith that you have inside of you and that you are the reception tower. And you are the cell tower. And you don't need help from anything else. You are the communication central. Love yourself. Look in that mirror and remind yourself to be loved. To be loved by, first of all, you. And second of all, how much love means to you because love is connection and it starts by connecting yourself to you. But by connect, if you're divided and if you're split in two, you first have to connect you and remind yourself of your value. Seeing value back in yourself and getting back to your truth. That's what this whole entire reading is about. Expansion. You are growing. You are. Your life is broadening and so are your opportunities and you have been manifesting the universe has heard you and you are changing things you're moving them you're moving them and it has to do with your vibration and your vibration will match your level of faith it's a confusion here maybe sometimes this is a deceptive woman or a woman that you don't know how to get in touch with you don't know how to reach her this is maybe who you want to be, but you don't know how to become. It's okay to be confused, you know. And sometimes the clouds, they don't bother you as much when you close your eyes and get back to your breath. Because you don't see the clouds when your eyes are closed. And how can you be scared of the dark when your eyes are closed? That's a dark you can control. It's a dark you're contributing to. Right? So take a deep breath. And then let it out. And get back to your center and remember who the fuck you are. Because you're a powerful motherfucker. Star card and snake card. These are your true deepest desires. Your aspirations, what you desire more than anything else in the world. And I almost feel like there's this person that you feel is a point of, point of that desire. But you don't know how to get in touch with them. You don't, you don't know how to talk to them. You don't know how to get to them. It's a confused direction. But honestly, you know what? Bring them to you. Shine your light for everything that you are. Keep being yourself bigger, broader, and louder than ever. Let them know that you exist. That's all you've got to do. You don't have to be overly whatever. You just need to let them know that you exist. 
make sure that that person knows that you're real and that you're alive. Give them a chance. Give them an opportunity to get your name in their head. But if you don't feel comfortable battering down their door, then don't. Because remember, that's not you. This is planting a seed, planting an idea, planting an idea in somebody's head with a name or a thought or an image. This is you planting the seeds. This is the time Libra for you to, for your life to start, for, for something new to grow out of it, something new to become, for the manifestation to start to grow and manifest. And it's not just going to be a seed anymore. It's going to be a sapling and then it's going to be a tree. Things are starting to grow. Let your own light shine on the seed that you plant in the ether. And it will start to grow and branch out. You're connecting with somebody. You are connecting with them. Talk to them and talk to them out loud. Recite their name. Say their name. Say their name out loud every fucking day. Talk to them. They will hear you speaking to them. Even if you never make a phone call, you don't have to make a phone call. You don't have to make a phone call. Maybe you tweet. Maybe you email. Maybe you do make a phone call. Maybe every night you chant their name and say, connect us, please. Connect us, please. Because there are ways for you to tap into the energies, the universal energies. But there is a communion between you and this person beyond the mind. It's about the soul behind the mind, the energy that is a part of source that lives inside of you. And it's that same source that lives inside of that person you want to connect with. So connect with that part of you. And that's the part of you that can resonate and vibrate and send the message to that part of them. And they will find you. The infinite. I mean, this is, this is the vibration, the master vibration, the energy. Morning temperature too high for camera. Oh, okay. The infinite. That's where we were. I'm sorry about the skip in the video because my phone shut off. But these are, these are all the full spectrum of vibrations. Your heart, your mind, your soul, your body, all, all chakras completely aligning. So that's your goal. And it is a very spiritual quest. So get yourself, Libra, to a place where you feel extremely comfortable. Make sure that you really, really feel all of you great about where you are and yourself. If you have to get on a fucking plane, fly to where your favorite place on earth is, then you get your ass there and go. Because you have got to be in that place of soulful completeness. And then make your prayer. And the universe will listen. Twice you've gotten manifestation. But you have to believe in that manifestation. You have to believe that somebody is listening. Because if you don't believe somebody is listening, you're insulting them. So why would they listen? Or if you don't believe that they're listening, you're not actually ever turning on your radio. Like part of your radio is always turned off. So this is really about communication through and with the deepest parts of everything that you are. This is your greatest, greatest, greatest desire. There's nothing more than you've ever wanted from this. Could be temptation, could be a, a aspirational temptation. I honestly think it's a lot more than that. I think it's your sole purpose. And you've already planted the seed in somebody's mind. So you keep up the vibration that's going to water that seed. Let's get into your spirit guide messages. Spirit guide messages come in the form of animal totems. So always please watch after you see these readings. Watch. I love that. 
watch what animals you see after these readings. Watch what totems come into your life. There is something in the future here, the underlying issues of not being able to let go, not being able to release something. And that means stuck. That's interesting. Let's see how we got there. Love is all around. You know what it is you love. And there's a lot of hype and a lot of buzz about this too. I think a lot of people know about it and a lot of people talk about it. Whatever it is, you know what it is. I don't have to say anymore. You could write it in the comments if you'd like. But it's, it's enough that you know. But it's also saying this is Gemini. This is Gemini energy. So communication is extremely important, especially one-on-one -on -one communication. Showing somebody just how much you care about this. Speaking the words out loud. Let them know. You're going to have to let them know. You're going to have to be the messenger of love. You don't have to do something that makes you feel uncomfortable, but you do have to say something out loud. It's essential. Even though it may be you don't know if it's going to work, you don't know. It's not about it working. It's about being honest and speaking your soul into the universe. This is a very spiritual quest for you. This is not something like mundane or even something that's simple or basic or easy. This is definitely something that is connected directly to your life purpose. You know, and I think that there are a lot of messages even coming into you to remind you, you love this. You love this person. You love this project. You love this career. You love this so much that just the love for it itself should be what you're singing about every single day. This is some place that's home to you. And you know what's really interesting? Oh, I'm sorry, sweetheart. I love you. My little puppy's sitting right by my foot and I love her so much. And I just kicked her on accident. Um... The um, the grand conjunction between Jupiter and Saturn is happening in your fourth house. That is the house of home. Mm. What is home to you? Really? Because this is green too. It implies the heart chakra. Home is where the heart is, right? Where is your heart? Be in alignment with it. So that you can broadcast, learn from the past. Has what you've tried in the past worked? What hasn't worked about it? Have you been fully committed to it? Or have you been backing away from it? Trying to say that you've done something when you haven't actually done something. You just want to feel like you've done something. This is the time to really get real and honest. Don't skate around the fact. Don't sidewind. Get right to the point. Be peace. Balance. It's just love. It's just a message of love. That's what you need to send. You need to send a message of love. This is also Holy Spirit coming to protect you. They're not going to let anything happen to you. I mean, whatever you think this terrible thing might happen to you, it's not going to happen. Nothing terrible is going to happen. Dragonfly, this is a transcendence. This is a permanent change. This is also the truth. The truth coming to light. This is Aquarius energy. So there is this sense of the truth is going to give you a great deal of peace. Speaking the truth out loud, just saying it out loud. Just let the world know, let somebody know that this is what you want so much, so badly. Just speak it, speak it and so it will be. This and that are true. You have a lot more in common than you think you do with them. And you're a lot closer to them than you think you are. They're a lot lighter and more playful than you now. It's almost like you're intimidated with them, but they're 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 a lot closer and more um, palpable than you think they are. Dream the world into being. Be haunted by the past that was unhappy and unsatisfied, so that you are forced to push into the future with courage. Be here now. Think only of the beauty in front of you. Think only of how much you're inspired by the beauty in front of you. This is a beautiful life. This is be playful, be happy. This is be joyous. This is Libra energy, beauty, beauty and grace. 
the abundant universe will provide. This is Taurus energy. So there's a lot of resources coming in. There's a lot of resources attached to this element that you're chasing. But this is also the universe itself will provide. Just say it out loud. All you have to do is speak it into existence. I promise you what I say. Bring your ideas to life. What are your ideas? Why don't you share them with people? Why don't you let them know what you think and what you feel and why it matters to you so much? Sing your own song. Let it out. This is freedom of speech. This is free. Being free to be exactly who you are out loud and say what you need to say. It's your divine right to be able to sing your own song and let people hear your soul. It's not about being loud. This is about being harmonious. There's nothing you can say from the standpoint of truth that will be anything but harmonious. And the only ears that the truth offends are ears that you don't care about anyway. Trust the great mystery. Just take the leap of faith. This is 6 plus 5, 11. But I don't know about you, but I've been seeing 11, 11 all the time. This is just trust right now. Just dive right in. You don't have to be anything that you're not, but you do have to be yourself out loud. Spirit has a plan. It's If you feel that push, Libra, it's time to do it. See the big picture. Where could this lead to? It's not this is just the first step. Not the whole journey. It's a broader, bigger journey. And more opportunities lie out there ahead of you. This is Taurus energy too. This is life is speeding up. Gemini energy. Things are starting to come together. And you watch once you make that investment and you put yourself out there. Things all of a sudden start going like blinding speed. Rush. Trust in divine detours. <laughs> and make your dreams real. This is Sagittarius energy and Scorpio energy. I think that you're the curveball. You're the unexpected. Let's see what the angels have to say. Libra, if you have not yet done it, please do click subscribe. Ring that bell down below as well so that you can get notified when I upload all the content. I upload at least 12 videos a week. And maybe you want to see more than just your sun sign. You want to look to somebody else's sign and cross watch. Or you want to see your rising sign, your moon sign. Or you're curious about love, so you want to check out your Venus sign. I upload all Zodiac specific videos every single week. They are not time sensitive, but they do come out brand new every week. Um, there's always an extended, please do click that link below. You'll see the extended video, which is a hell of a personalized reading, even though it's not a personal reading. Um, and you can also subscribe directly over there to that platform so that essentially you will be notified as soon as I upload the videos there and you'll have access to them before everybody waiting for the link here does. Um, and then last but not least, I invite you to join me on Instagram born underscore without underscore boundaries over on Instagram you'll find me and usually when I'm not on vacation which I am right now I go live Monday through Friday and we have a live tarot card reading over there so you're welcome to join me there as well let's see what the angel messages have to say if you really like this video please do uh, share it on your social media platforms that really helps the unknown Archangel Raphael, feel yourself surrounded by my emerald green light. I, Archangel Raphael, offer you healing and solace. The storm clouds will soon clear and the sun will shine eternally bright. Trust. We can, if you're going to light the candle, believe that it's, it's, it's doing something. Fear. I, Archangel Michael, so you have Archangel Raphael that you could pray to, or you have Archangel Michael. I, Archangel Michael, am here to help you through the present time. I love you. I protect you and keep you safe. Trust that all is well. Accept my love and allow it to dissolve your fear. 
The unknown. Do not fear the unknown. This is a time of deep exploration and transformation. Unfamiliar territory leads to new horizons. What? This is, that's exciting. That almost gave me chills. For real, Libra. Um, anxiety. We surround you with the healing light of amethyst. So if you have any amethyst, anytime this card comes up, if you have amethyst, wear it on you right now. Take a deep breath and breathe in this beautiful violet light. Violet is the color of the crown chakra. It means you're about to receive messages. Feel your anxiety melting away. There is nothing to fear. There is only love. Compassion. When you show greater compassion towards yourself, the universe automatically responds by showering you with greater blessings. Destiny. Your destiny is to blossom, to shine, to transform to an ever greater light. Let's see what Tarot has to say. I'll see you in the extended. Link is below.